Happy Halloween everybody! Melissa here. In this video I'll show you how I made this coffin pendant. So if you want to see how I made this just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alright let's get started. This will be my last spooky project of the season. Happy Halloween everybody! So today I want to make this coffin. I just grabbed this shape and sketched it out real quick. I want to incorporate this little skull bead. I think that would be a good size for a pendant. And I grabbed some 16 gauge square wire and I measured this. This measures 5 inches all the way around, but I think I'm going to go with 12 inches. These are the measurements. That's one half inch, one half inch, one half inch over here, one and a half inches, and this is one and a half inches. So that's the measurements of the coffin. Of course, I'm going to have straight lines on the sides, but I want to go swirly for the insides. I'm going to use a pair of flat nose pliers to help in my wire. I'm going to try to straighten it out with some nylon jaws because it's kind of twisting on me here. So I'm going to find center. All right, I found center with a quarter inch on either side. So that's going to go right here. But I'm going to make my first bend. Go back and forth to make sure my bends are nice and crisp. jaw pliers. Try to get it as straight as possible. Of course your wires are going to want to curve on you, so try to prevent that. I'm going to mark where my bends should be here. I'll try to mimic that curve. This one's curving. Gotta keep it straight. These are kind of bending a little bit again. And then I'm going to mark them a quarter inch. From that mark, I'm 
that. Okay, so I gotta go through and get these angles crisper. I'm also going to give this a, a tap to flatten it. Once you're satisfied with your shape, you can wrap your bail in half round. You can use 18 gauge. I'm going to use 16 gauge because I can oxidize it. My 18 gauge unfortunately happens to be tarnish resistant. So that doesn't work for me, especially with my Halloween pieces. Right, so I'm going to start making my bail. I'm going to wrap at least an inch. We'll see where we're at. I'll just use the rest of my wire and see where we're at. I think I cut off like six to eight inches. I'm going to cut it right there. This is the back. That's about an inch. That's good. This frame is super thick. I'm going to bring it up and around. Yeah, I'm going to finish these off. Incorporate some 18 gauge so it's easier to make some swirls. I'm just going to cut these because they're so hard to work with. I just wanted a, a nice thick frame. After all that, I gotta straighten out all my lines, tap it out. Alright, I grabbed some 18 gauge square wire. I'm gonna grab a lot of it. I grabbed about 20 inches. I'm not sure if I'll need it all, but I sure want enough for my swirls. Since I have this little gap back here, I'm gonna swing it around. Do a little crossover. Try to get it tight without twisting it too much. I have them come forward again. I want my little head to be right in there, but I need something to anchor it to. So let's see what we 
you can do here. So I'm coming down, gonna make a swirl. A swirl in this, tighten it up, bring that back out. Does that fit in there? If I attach it somewhere, that should. That should give enough room for the head. Let's wrap this around. Wrap this guy around. I'm just playing around here now. Let's bring this one up. So this one I'm thinking I want to hammer out. Let's bring this over. I want to spiral it, but I want to kind of flare it as well. I'm going to use some round nose pliers to spiral this up a little bit. The hammer part will be harder to shape. You can still pinch it with your pliers to get it to go where you want it to go. You can see this one from the back, so I'm just going to kind of give it a little curve. Okay, that looks good. Move that swirl over a little bit. This one, bring it around the frame. I want it to come up on the bail, I guess. But I think I want to hammer that out too. Let's pull that out, kind of shape it. see what this looks like. First I need to kind of pinch it down a little bit down here. Bring it around here, bring it up here, and up the bail if possible. That's not too bad. This one needs to be adjusted I think. I'm going to take a metal file 
smooth these edges out. They're a little bit sharp. I need to attach my skull. That shouldn't take too much wire. I'll grab about three inches of 20 gauge. Stick my bead on around the middle here. Just to keep it in place, I'm gonna bend them forward. And I'm gonna twist these wires around the square wires. Before I totally lock that down, I'm gonna work on this guy. And get this guy wrapped around the frame as well. I'm try to tighten these up, try to keep my skull in the center of this pendant the best I can here. I don't like how my skull's moving around, so what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to take another piece of 20 gauge and it will fit up my bead. I'm going to wrap it around the other side as well and that should help stabilize it. pliers again and start wrapping it the other way. Kind of lift that guy up. Just need a little bit of room. Switch my pliers. Do the same thing down here. So he moves a little bit but he's a lot more stable than before. I got these little flowers. If I stuck a couple in there, how would that look? Does that look okay? Push that over, put that in there. How does that look? You know what, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna attach them just like I did the skull. They're beads. So I'll be back and I'll show you what I come up with. Here we are with a few flowers. I think that's pretty cute. I'm glad I thought of them. I did forget I bought those, so I'm, I just thought of them now. So this pendant is gonna need some buffing. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. oxidize it and I'll come back to show you how it looks. So what do you guys think of this pendant? The flowers were a last second decision. I forgot I had them. They're actually in a Hobby Lobby bag right here on the floor next to me. It just dawned on me to use them. So what do you think? I think it turned out super cute. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. If you wanted to make this pendant, you can take this copper frame and you can create it, you know, anything you want. So many things you can do with this idea. Anyway, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, let me know in the comments what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I release a new video. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time.